Well, this is the same Stirling engine as in the video before, with a horizontally arranged flywheel made out of the platters of the old hard drive. The freewheel, I put a bit of a radiator there on the cool side of the engine. Also, I've connected the engine to a little generator to provide a load for it to see whether they can actually generate the electricity. You can see that the generator is, in, is loaded onto the set of LEDs. Let me to spin it, the flash for a moment. The idea being to make sure that this Stirling engine, weak as it is, may actually generate some power. Well, next thing we'll do, we'll light it up. Okay, it's time to see whether this engine will actually work. We'll light up the burner and get it to warm up. Now, this process takes about three to four minutes. So, to save you boredom, I simply resume the video the moment it's hot. Well, about five minutes have expired since I started the burner. So, the engine should be quite warm now. Let's try to build it well. Well, it looks like it's working. And the LEDs are shining. My estimate that the power produced right now is about 320 milliwatt. Okay, well, we'll take the heat off, see how long it will last. Right. Loaded engine has stopped, but I'm pretty sure if you take the load off and give it a twirl, it will still have enough to run itself. It's still going, no heater. Slowing down now, about to stop. Well, that's a demonstration of the power output of the Stirling engine. My next project would be to remove the flywheel completely invert the power cylinder vertically and make it properly free piston on both displacer side and the power piston side. I might even put linear alternator on the axles of the power cylinder vertically positioned. See whether that will work. That's for future. So far, end of the story.